fine. Everything's fine. It's going great. Hi, it's Isabel, and I am once again sitting next to my TBR card because it is, again, time to pick my next month's TBR. As you probably saw from the title, like last month, I will do it with the help of my UNO cards. Even though last month didn't quite go as planned. But I'll get to that in a second, because I won't let it stop me from doing it again. If you haven't seen last month's video, I will link it up in the cards and also down in the description, because I explain the game in a bit more detail than I will do now. And you can also see what books I was supposed to read in August in my August TBR video. And that is actually what I will have to talk about first before picking my TBR for September. So if you remember, I was supposed to read four books for August and the books were The Crucible by Arthur Miller, A Summer of Drowning by John Burnside, to be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers and Stories of Your Life and Others by Tat Chiang. And you might remember that I was very confident that I would be able to read these books in August. Not that I expect to fail this month because I do only have four books to read. Yeah, that was a mistake. And I'm not saying that I didn't read any books in August. I did read, just not always what I was supposed to. But let's just talk about what I did and didn't read and get it over with. So I managed to read two books out of the four. I read The Crucible by Arthur Miller and I also read Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Jiang. And I'm also about two thirds of the way through A Summer of Drowning by John Burnside. I could have probably finished this book before filming this video if I would have wanted to, but I'm actually really enjoying it and this isn't one that I want to read in a hurry. So that's why I didn't. But I will probably finish it in the next few days. The one that I didn't get to and will sadly have to return to the library unread is To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. So that isn't a very good statistic for the first try of this TBR. But I will continue doing it anyway because picking out the books via the UNO cards is actually really fun and makes me read books that might not have been a priority on my TBR list. Hopefully, if I manage to read them. <laughs> so yeah, I will do it again anyway. But last month I mentioned that I would think of some punishments and rewards for if I do or don't read all of the books on my TBR. What I have decided to do is make my book buying for the next month depend on whether or not I read the previous TBR. So if I do read all of the books I will be allowed to buy more books and if I don't I won't be allowed to buy any books. So I can't buy any books in September and you're all here, you've heard it, and you can hold me accountable. I shouldn't have any new books by the end of next month. That is excluding uni books, of course, but we'll get to that once I start making my TBR for September, because I do have to read quite a few books for uni. They haven't arrived yet, I've ordered them, but I will probably try and fit some of those into September's TBR to make my life at least a tiny bit easier. But yeah, that being said, I think we can start shuffling the cards for September. And I haven't put the cards that I drew last time back into deck yet, because I have a reshuffle the cards prompt and I will only put them back in once that comes up, because I kind of want to reduce the amount of prompts coming up multiple times. I mean, some prompts might still show up more than once because some cards are in the deck more than once, but it'll hopefully at least reduce the double, triple, multiple prompts a tiny bit. So now that these are shuffled, I will again, like last month, draw seven cards. And if I continuously don't manage to read the books that the game picks for me, I might reduce that number, but I think I'll just play with it for a while and then see how it goes. So this month I will again draw seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-
again here we have my little pile of cards and let's begin i always get so nervous doing this i don't know why okay so first card is a reverse blue so i will have to draw another card and do the opposite of whatever that prompt would have been i'm taking my big deck again and draw another card that is a nine a green nine so i will have to do the reverse of whatever the green nine prompt would have been so let's check what the green nine prompt means all right so a green nine would have been a new to me author but because it is the reverse it is an author that i've read before let me check if i have any of those on my little shelf oh yeah that's actually perfect because i wanted to read oops there we go I wanted to read The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones anyway because I have it out from the library and I feel like it would be a perfect kind of autumnal creepy read and I'm really in the mood for that and yes I do start my creepy read season in September already because they're my favourite thing so I have more months to do that. <laughs> and I have read... Um, one of Steam Graham Jones books before it was Mapping the Interior which was a really short novella so I'm interested to see how I like his stories in a full novel format really excited for that first pick next up we have a yellow one so I'll have to check my prompts again as always no a yellow one is a book over 500 pages oh why okay but I, I do have some i think i mean i know that the luminaries has way more than 500 pages but i'm not ready to read that many pages do i have one that's closer oh i thought kintu might maybe have more than 500 pages because it looks like it but it's actually more like 400 pages that's a shame so i guess i'll have to go with the overstory which has let me check 625 pages that is quite a lot but I do actually really want to read The Overstory. It's been on my TBR for a while. I think I bought it about a year ago when I was in London. So it is really about time that I get to it. And its size is really the only thing that has kept me from reading it because the topic sounds fantastic. It's about multiple characters and they are apparently kind of linked by the theme of trees which is a premise that I really like. So yeah, this this will be the month that I finally read the overstory. Hopefully. I didn't want to read such a big book. But I am quite excited to finally read that story. So it's fine. Everything's fine. It's going great. We can do this. <laughs> okay, next card. A green nine again, but this time not reversed so i think it was a new to me author right yes a new to me author and there are a lot of new to me authors on the shelf i'm wondering if i should pick snow falling on cedars for this by what's his first name david David Gutterson. This one is actually one that I have to read for book club. I have a in real life book club with my friends from uni and I'll have to have read this by the 9th so I could pick this one. But there are so many that I'm more excited about that I want to read that are new to me. No, I'll, I'll do the reasonable thing and pick Snow Falling on Cedars. I actually don't know too much about this and I haven't heard great things. I've heard that it drags a bit, so I'm a bit apprehensive about it. Also, it's chunky. It's like 400 pages, but I have to at least give it a try anyway, so 
might as well pick this one. So now that we have this out of the way, let's see what else I'll have to read. I still have four cards in my deck. And the next one is a blue five. Loads of normal cards this time. <gasps> yes, a blue five is a graphic novel. Now this is exciting because that's short and doable and I really like graphic novels. So let me quickly check what graphic novels I have kind of on my want to read list. All right, that took me way too long to decide, but the problem is that I have a lot that I have kind of saved on my wish list and not a lot of them are available anywhere, but I have decided to go with Injection by Warren Ellis, which is described as once upon a time, there were five crazy people and they poisoned the 21st century. Now they have to deal with the corrosion to try and save us all from a world becoming too weird to support human life. I think that sounds really fascinating and the art style looks quite nice, so I will try that out. Okay, three cards left. So, next up we have a green one, a POC author. That's perfect. So, what are we gonna go with? I'm thinking Kintu, Belover or An American Marriage because I already had them so I might as well read them. Kintu though is 400 pages and I do already have quite a few pages on my TBR so let me check Beloved and An American Marriage real quick. They are about the same length but I think I'll pick An American Marriage for now. I do also really want to get to Beloved at some point but because this is kind of more recent and I've heard so many good things about it, I want to get to this one first. Don't worry, your turn will come. The maybe second to last card is a yellow eight. Still having very normal cards this round is why I'm saying now. I don't know what the last one is yet. Yellow eight is a second hand book. So, books that I bought secondhand. I have quite a few of those. Um, I'm thinking Hatchet or The Scarlet Letter. I bought both of these secondhand, so both work. Question is, do I want to read another classic? No, because I have to read quite a few of those anyway next month for uni. So I will go with Hatchet instead. And this one will probably be quite a quick read because I think it is middle grade. And it's also only like 180 pages in. Very, very big font. It's apparently about a boy who is the only survivor of a plane crash and has to survive alone in the wilderness, which we all know is a trope I love. So I wanted to give this one a try. Will it be the last card or not? We will see. It is a green eight. Didn't we already have a green eight? Let me check. No, we didn't have a green eight yet. And it is favorite author. Oh, this is nice. So favorite author. Do I have any favorite author on my TBR currently? I think the only authors that I have on my TBR currently that I've read before are Margaret Atwood and Cormac McCarthy, but I've only read one book from each and I'm not sure that I could call them favorite authors. So let me think about who my favorite authors are for a second. Oh, I know. I really wanted to read more from Shirley Jackson lately. I have read, I think, two of her novels so far and some of her short stories. And I think I want to read some more short stories. So I'm going to read Dark Tales. And I've checked I can get that from the library. So that is great. And yeah, that is actually my TBR already. We almost only had normal cards this time round, which totally fine with me. I don't need to have plus fours all over the place, but oh, let me grab them. I do have quite a stack of books to read anyway. So we have The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones, The Overstory by Richard Powers, Snow Falling on Cedars by David Gutherson, an American Marriage by Tayari Jones and Hatchet by Gary Paulson, as well as the graphic novel Injection by Warren Ellis and Shirley Jackson's Dark Tales. So yeah, I'm actually quite excited about most of them. So 
that is great, even though it is quite a stack and I should really get back into my reading habit if I want to get through it. I'm currently in a bit of a slump, but I'm sure I'll get out of it somehow and I'll try and manage to read at least a good part of these because I do want to be able to buy books again in October. So that's a good motivation, I think. If you have read and loved any of these, do let me know in a comment because I definitely need the motivation to pick them up. And that's it for this month's TBR. Thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Goodbye.